Income Tax 2021-2022. Tax Line 16, Part Number 1. Get ready to get refunds to the max. Dive it into Income Tax 2021-2022. Most of this information can be found in the Form 1040 Instructions Tax Year 2021 on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov, Income Tax Formula. We're looking at the tax line down below on the Income Tax Formula. With regards to the Form 1040, we're looking at page 2, line 16, specifically on page number 2, tax line 16. Include in the total on the entry space on line 16 all of the following taxes that are apply that would include tax on your taxable income so that would be obviously your federal income tax being calculated here figuring the tax can be a little bit complex we talked about that briefly in prior presentations we often rely on the software to do that calculation because we have the progressive tax system which can complicate things because we have the same amount of the income being taxed at different rates we also might have some components of the taxable income that are actually taxed using different rates, different progressive t schedules in essence, things like possibly capital gains, things like possibly qualified dividends, which also complicates the uh, calculation. So software, of course, in practice will be helping most people to do the tax calculation there, although you want to understand the concept, as we talked about before, of the progressive tax system and when you have certain taxes or certain income amounts that will be subject to different taxations, oftentimes more favorable taxation methods and why so that you can do effective tax planning into the future and explain that to clients. Then we have tax from forms 8814 that's related to the election to report a child's interest or dividends. We have the tax from form 4972 relating to lump sum distributions and then tax with respect to a section 962 election, election made by a domestic shareholder of a controlled foreign corporation to be taxed at corporate rates reduced by the amount of any foreign tax credits claimed on form 1118. You can see section uh, 962 for details there you would check box 3 and enter the amount and 962 in the space next to the box recapture of an education credit you may owe this tax if you claimed an education credit in an earlier year and either tax-free educational assistance or a refund of qualified expenses was received in 2021 for the student so in other words you claimed a credit uh, in the prior year the credit is kind of like a dollar for dollar deduction and then you got the money back in the following year. Now you're in that same kind of situation where you basically got a benefit in the prior year. And now you got the money back in the current year. It's similar to like the state deduction for the state refund that we talked about in a, in a Schedule A kind of situation. So, so what do you do? Do you go back to the prior year and say, okay, I didn't really get that deduction because they gave me the money back. You can amend the prior year tax return, but that's usually the tedious thing to do. That's not the way we want to go most of the time. If It would be easier if we can go forward and then make the adjustment in the current uh, year, which is going to be the idea here. So see form 8863 for more details. Check box 3 and enter the amount and ECR in the space next to that box. Any tax from form 8621 line 16E related to section 1291 fund check box 3 and enter the amount of the tax and the 1291 tax in the space next to the box reporting any uh, report repayment of any excise advance payments of the health coverage tax credit from form 8885 check box 3 enter the amount of the repayment and HCTC in the space next to that box tax from form 8978 line 14 relating to partners uh, audit liability under section 6226 you would check box 3 and enter the amount of the liability and quote form 8978 uh, end quote in the space next to that box if the amount on form 8978 line 14 is negative see the instructions for schedule 3 form 1040 line 6 i uh, net tax liability deferred under section 965 i if uh, you had a net 965 inclusion and made an election to defer your net 965 tax liability under section 965 AI, check box three and enter as a negative number 
the amount of the deferred net 965 tax liability and 965 on the line next to that box. A triggering event under Section 965I. If you had a triggering event under Section 965I during the year and did not enter into a transfer agreement, check box 3 and enter the amount of the triggering deferred net 965 tax liability and enter 965INC on the line next to the box.